This video is sponsored by NordVPN. What's going on guys, this is Sam, and today I wanna show you how to set up a VPN on your iPhone or iPad. It's a really easy process. In the past it was really complicated, but I partnered up with NordVPN to make this video possible, and they have some great apps on iPhone, iPad, but also Mac, Android, and pretty much any other platform out there. So let's go ahead and get started. There are a ton of reasons why you would use a VPN on your device, the biggest one being that you get an encrypted connection for all incoming and outgoing traffic on your device. So everything you're doing is going to happen in a safe and secure manner. If you live in a country where your internet access might be restricted, using a service like NordVPN can get you around any of the restrictions placed on you and let you browse the internet in a, a completely free and open manner. And on top of that, using a VPN means that all of your data will be private, meaning that only the people that should see your data, you and whoever you're sending that data to, will see it. No one else can snoop around and see what you've been doing online, which is huge, especially in 2018. So let's go ahead and get started and set up the NordVPN on our device. If you head over to the link down below in the description, nordvpn.org slash iAppDataOS, they have a special deal going right now where you can get three years of VPN protection for only $275 a month, which is only $99 for three entire years of protection, which is actually an insanely good deal for a VPN service as good as this one. And if we go ahead and tap the Get Limited Deal button right here, it'll automatically have the exclusive deal selected for us. You can go ahead and speed through the account creation process. They accept any major credit card, PayPal, and even cryptocurrencies which is extremely cool. Once you're there, you can go ahead and tap on the App Store button right here, and it will direct you over to the iOS App Store if you're on iOS, or the respective App Store, depending on what device you're using. Now that we're here, we can download the app. When we go ahead and launch it up, you're gonna see this page right here. Once you've installed the application, it's gonna ask you to send notifications. We can hit Allow right there. And then they say, we care about your privacy. Hit Agree and Continue. Finally, you can go ahead and sign in with your account at the very top. It'll say Create Account, but now that we just made one online, go ahead and just tap on the I already have an account option right here. And once you've logged in, it's gonna ask you to set up the VPN configuration on your device, which is pretty much entirely done for you. So to get the VPN started, now that we are all signed up, tap on the quick connect option at the very bottom. It'll say, hey, we actually need your permission to connect to the VPN. So tap on that, go ahead and tap on allow. It should shoot you over to settings right here. It may ask for touch ID, passcode, or face ID verification. So you can just go ahead and do that super simply and then you're done. You have the VPN set up, installed, and working on your device, and if you use my code down below, you now have three years of protection that you already have paid for. If you have an iPhone 10, you can swipe down in Control Center to see the little VPN icon, but I think on every other iOS device that doesn't have a notch, it'll just say VPN, and that's how you know for sure your internet connection is safe, and that everything is being encrypted, and that all of your data is currently private. So you can go on YouTube, or go on the internet and look up literally anything that you want to, because you have protection now. Uh, the government cannot do anything to interfere with your connection. Everything is routed through NordVPN servers. You've got a different IP address now. So everything you're doing is a lot more anonymous now. No companies can track what you're doing. It's a very cool idea. I think a VPN in 2018 is quite essential uh, with all the controversy around data and what that means for the future. Everything was crazy fast with NordVPN. I had actually used other free alternatives in the past that I hadn't paid a cent for, and you'll notice that they just aren't that fast because you paid for NordVPN, it is lightning quick. And I noticed that instantly when I started using it. And that's also because there are over 4,000 servers across 62 countries in the entire world, which means that you're always gonna have a server to connect to. Another huge plus with NordVPN is that you don't get any bandwidth limits. Uh, with other services, once again, that I used in the past, they would just shut off your VPN after so many megabytes or so many gigabytes of usage. Because you paid for this, you get all the best features with NordVPN. And not only is it lightning fast, but you're never going to be able to not use the internet in a secure manner with the VPN uh, because you ran out of data or something like that. Now, if you ever have any issues with NordVPN, they offer 24-7 live chat and email support. So that option is there if you need it. I really wish I would have known about NordVPN three or four years ago when I was back in high school because I wanted to play Bloons Tower Defense, which is a really fun online game that was blocked by my school's firewall. And with a VPN, we found out a little bit later that you can get around it. I used some sketchy ones. I didn't know exactly where my data was going because they were free and slow. With NordVPN, they sponsored this video, so I was paid to talk about it, but I genuinely think this is the best VPN that I've ever used. It's so fast, it seems extremely secure, and it also seems like they genuinely care about letting anybody, anywhere browse the internet in the manner that they want to. So that's all I've got for you guys right now. Once again, thank you to NordVPN for sponsoring this video and making it possible. If you want to secure your internet browsing right now, head over to the very first link down below in the description, nordvpn.org slash 
I update OS, and that would be incredible. If you enjoyed watching this video or if you learned something new, make sure to drop a like and of course hit subscribe for more videos like this in the future. I've been Sam. I hope all of you are doing great and I'll talk to you in my next video.